If you guys want the best and most reliable Ultimate Team coin source, make sure you guys go check out FIFAUTCoinStore.com for all your Ultimate Team coin needs. All the links will be in the description below, so make sure you guys go check them out if you guys are interested in purchasing any coins. Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another player review today. And as you guys can see, we do have a review of the informed Sessignon, Stefan Sessignon from Sunderland in the BPL, guys. And this guy is an absolute animal. So there was really three huge players in this week's Team of the Week. I mean, you could, uh, you know, the likes of Robin Van Persie, um, and then you had Mario Gomez, and then Sessignon. At least those were the three biggest players for me, uh, personally. So what I did, guys, was review RVP yesterday, and today we are reviewing Sessignon. And then uh, either tomorrow or Thursday you guys will be able to see, um, you know, the team that I actually did play them in. So you guys will be able to see, you know, how I played with them and, you know, how I linked them up with each other and uh, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and get into Sessignon. This guy's an absolute monster, guys. I mean, he is amazing. And uh, I'm kind of expecting his price to drop a little bit, but uh, we shall have to see. This is kind of a confusing inform, um, and I'll let you know about that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get to this face card stats, guys. So 86 pace, guys, 87 dribbling, 77 shooting, 61 defense, 80 passing, and 72 hitting. Now, as you can see, the most notable thing is 5-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. That is an absolutely insane, insane attribute for a card. So... 97,000 coins or 97.5k is what I paid for him and he also is at a striker position now I was actually able to sell him on for a uh, little bit of a profit um, Just because you know he is moved up to a striker position and uh, it's kind of hard to get those converted from a center forward because the center forward to striker cards are kind of expensive I mean they run around six to seven thousand coins uh, which is kind of expensive for a you know transitional card So 11 goals in 10 games guys, but not too bad, but this guy had seven goals after three games I mean he is an absolute monster take a look at some of the in-game stats that you guys can get from here 86 ball control which is very good 91 dribbling to go along with that face card instead of i believe 87 dribbling that he does have i mean that is just an absolute clutch that to have at assisting on stands i believe it said five foot nine tall so he's very small and his dribbling is very you know it's very controlled and right at his feet which i really like about players uh, especially the smaller players now he does a medium attacking and defensive work rate so i do believe cam or center forward is a better position for him uh, but i did opt to play him at the striker position so he could try and score more goals and, uh, you know, just be absolutely awesome, which he was. So, 88 acceleration, guys, and 89 agility, which is very good. Um, you know, all things considered, he has 86 pace on his card, and typically he is a cam. So, for a cam, that is some very good stats um, that I should point out. I mean, he is absolutely awesome, guys. And uh, I actually, you know, decided to review him instead of Gomez, uh, mainly due to the fact that he links up with RVP, and I could have made a squad um, with both of them featured in there. But this this guy was absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at that first goal from him. That is his weak foot, guys. Guys, that is where you get that five-star weak foot um, with the absolutely amazing shot that he does have. Uh, showing a little bit of the skill moves off right here, and then he's going to finish it off with the weak foot once again. I mean, there is nothing there is nothing wrong with this player. He is phenomenal, and uh, I was so excited to bring you guys a review of him because I want you guys to try him out. Now, there's there's a little bit, um, you know, things that I would recommend. So, if you guys want... You know, go ahead and try him out at striker, but uh, I would also suggest trying him out at a cam position and maybe a 3-5-2 or a 4-2-3-1. Uh, now, he does come as default center forward compared to his normal card, which does come as a cam. Um, so, you're going to have to convert him back to a cam, but, uh, you know, the center forward to cam cards are not very expensive. So, they're definitely affordable and there's definitely something uh, that you guys should definitely try. But, he is very good at striker as well. The medium defensive work rate doesn't really hurt him too much. Um, as you can see in all these clips, he's basically ahead of everybody um, in every clip. And look at that burst of acceleration. He he has this is absolutely brilliant and a beautiful little finish uh, right past the goalkeeper right here now when I was mentioning that he was kind of a weird inform guys um, his normal card is extremely cheap but amazing he has to be one of the most underrated players in this game I mean his normal card is phenomenal so um, the fact that his inform is almost you know 98 uh, you no know, 95,000 coins more than his regular card um, it's just kind of something that's really weird you don't really get that too much um, unless it's a big name player so I'm just really confused as you know as to whether his card will go down or stay up um, especially with team of the season coming out you know very soon or this week um, I'm really just you know kind of confused on what what's going to happen with his inform so my best guess is he's going to go down a little bit to around 80 to 70 thousand once you know things kind of mellow out he's still in his hype right now and uh, because he's featured in this week's team of the league so let's go ahead and look at some of the alternatives if you guys do choose to put him at uh, the camera the center forward I did do uh, a little bit of both here so as we can see Juan Mata is most comparable to him uh, as you guys can see he has a uh, pretty decent pick 
pace, some very high dribbling, and some very high shooting. Um, almost identical or exactly identical in the dribbling and shooting um, and the passing. So uh, they're basically almost the same player. Uh, Juan Mata is a little bit slower, but he's an absolutely excellent player as well. Nasri, same type of thing. Uh, good pace, good dribbling, and good shooting. Same with Kagawa and same with Wilshire. So that's the three stats that I was basically, you know, doing it all off of. Now you can pay 100000 for Sessignon. You actually can pay for the normal Sessignon if you guys want. Uh, but here are some good alternatives for the league squad. His nation is very, very rare to find. Um, he's only one of a few um, in the whole entire FIFA Ultimate team that you guys are going to be fond of his nation. So um, I would recommend using those in the BPL team if you guys, um, you know, are kind of shying away from the inform. But guys, you can also use the regular Sessignon as he is an absolute monster. So thank you guys for watching so much. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy this inform Sessignon review, make sure you guys leave a like and show your support. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. It really, truly means a lot. If we can go for 150 likes, that would be amazing, guys. Let's go and hit it uh, by tomorrow morning. That would be phenomenal. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you did enjoy, make sure you guys do like the video. Let's try to get 150. But uh, until next time, guys, this has been Urso, and have a good one.